Hey guys, I'm with uh, Phil and John, who are our GH and I staff and workers in uh, Indonesia. So I wanted to just ask these guys a couple questions because we want to bring some people to be able to see the work that they've got going. Um, so let's start out. You're on the island of Sulawesi, Sulawesi, and uh, starting in the city of Makassar, and uh, you're starting to work in Chambaburu, the village yep. there. So give us like just a real quick summary of Chambaburu and what we got going there, what kinds of things we might do for a couple days there. Yeah, so Chambaburu is a slum area, about 5,000 people, but we're working in a smaller area of about 200. Really, really poor people that moved in from the villages, and they're living in little huts and that whole thing. And so we're helping them. We have a TCD program, and we're teaching them about uh, skills and preventative health education, and you name it, we're doing it. We've got a holistic program going on there. So if we come, we can get, participate in some of maybe the skills training, so you're gonna stuff participate, with children. You're going to participate in the weekly program on Tuesdays, and then uh, we're going to go there at night and hang out with some families, get to know the culture, hang out, and have some food with some of the families there. That'd be awesome. Now, so you've been there about a year. John was raised in Indonesia, so you're like, you're like the man. You, <laughs> you've known this place for a long time, and so you're bringing the rest of us up to speed. We're now going to get started with another village that's about an hour boat ride away on a small island. What's the name of Tanakeke? Yeah, Tanakeke. Tanakeke. So tell us a little bit. If now, if we then go over to that island, what are some stuff we could do there? Some things we could do because you're just beginning to start to get the concepts of TCD with them. Yeah. Yeah, um, just coming and spending time with them, you know, hanging out at their house mm -hmm. and eating their food and drinking their coffee is going to be a huge encouragement for them. Their coffee, is it good? Uh, depends on your, um, your, yeah, how, your taste? how you like your coffee. Because <laughs> <laughs> Indonesian coffee, we're going to have a lot of takers want to well, come on a trip for that. They're so poor, so what they do is they take, mm. they take corn uh -huh. and they roast it and they crush it up and rice and rice and then and they coconut. throw it and they throw it in a bag and then it kind of tastes like charred coffee but it's actually <laughs> it's no, not it's real like coffee zero coffee Maybe. oh okay well i don't be, think you're getting any taste. well so we bring our own coffee it's, it's black and it's yeah. sweet yeah. They and throw a lot of there sugar. might be a little bit of coffee in there, maybe you know, twenty percent or ten percent. But what kinds of things are you starting to do now with Tanakeke at the beginning of our work there? Um, yeah, to begin with, just I've I've spent time in this village for seven years, um, and and when I first went there, they were like a thriving village, e economy was going well for them. But in the last three years, it's just their economy started to go down, and part of that is loan sharks, part of that is bad weather. Mm. Um, so I kind of imagine that if we can catch them before they go too low, you know, we're going to be able to, in a sense, save them from, like, poverty. Um, and as they catch the vision of T TCD, I'm telling them, I, I'm saying, you guys are not as bad off as someone else in this area. Mm. Tell me about who are the worst off people on these islands, mm. you know, and how can we help them? Because they know that they... They, they never miss a meal. I mean, worst case, they go to their neighbor and say, can I have some rice this week, you know, or their brother and say, I need some fish. But um, these are not the poorest of poor, but they are, their economy is dropping. But using them as a model village, how to save their money, how to, you know, pay back a loan, mm. how to... Um, All the things that TCD is about. Yeah economic side and then of course they don't have toilets they they don't have really clean water so there's a health side to this so there's too, yeah. there's a lot of things that they need but they don't realize they need so doing skits like if a team were to come and do a skit about clean water about you know filtering or boiling your water um, or even bringing some simple filters for them to see oh this is what a filter looks like and uh, you know if they have a good shrimp harvest they might be able to afford buying their own filter if they knew what a filter was like and where to get it. So this could become a model village for more villages exactly. around it yeah. of holistic TCD. That's what we're really hoping. It's a small village, about 35 homes, mm -hmm. about 200 people, 250 people. Um, very close friendships with me. And, um, and, and the people that are friends with me there, they are the keys. Because uh, they guard us in the sense that everything that we do in the village, we filter through their filter first. Because ah. they know... What's gonna work? What's not gonna work? You know, we are we are. I, even though I lived there for a long time, I'm still an outsider. It doesn't matter. 
how long I've been there, I'm, I'm still an outsider. And especially in their area, doesn't matter if I grew up in another part of Indonesia, the diversity within Indonesia is just incredible. So we, we have to have these key people that are guiding us saying, hey, Phil, don't do that. You know, Phil, you can do this, you know, or if you want to do this, do it like this. So mm. it's very important. So we could get some people to adopt that village. And then lastly, we have a third village up in the mountains. What's the name of that one? The village name is Patalasang. Okay. And we're just getting started up there. It sounds like they already understand some of the fundamental ideas behind TCD. We could come in, really come alongside them, get some people to adopt that village, and boom, it could be a thriving model in the mountains. They've, they've been doing TCD now for about two years uh, using their own local resources, and they're basically asking us, okay, help us out. Now where do we go from here? They have... They haven't had any outside help or anything like that, so we're coming alongside them. We're going to consult them. We're going to, if a partner from the West came in and said, hey, we want to adopt this village, we'd really speed up their process of transformation. But some really exciting things are happening there. So. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So our hope is to put together a trip to a bunch of people to come see you guys in uh, 2012, hopefully in the first half of 2012. So we'll let you know more about that as the details come together. Great. Thanks, guys. See you in Indonesia. Yeah. See you there.